Hello guys, welcome to BST African Electronic Surgery on Monday and uh, let's continue with the Monday repairs. It's a very busy day. I just finished fixing the ASA laptop, the Doji way. You know, when you just want to, to, to get the job done and the customer is so desperate, you don't have the space, you, you do whatever you do to bring the device to life, okay? So, I know a lot of people comment a lot, but uh, that's my way. Anyway, we do have a Lenovo G50 which was booked in as no display. Let's power on the laptop. We have a switch here on. I can see the LED here. Two LEDs here. But uh, we have nothing on the screen. Okay. Let's check out the battery. So, nothing on the screen. Can be many things. The worst case is when you have a dead graphics. Because this kind of Lenovo laptops have chipsets graphics also that all like all in one processor graphics and chipset they are sold that under one chip if anything happens yeah bad things can happen so hard drive network card But the, let's start by basics. Let's refeed the RAM. Maybe we have a 40 RAM. Who knows? I don't have charger for this one. Oh, okay. The battery is falling out. On then the laptop is working fine. I can't believe you see. <laughs> so I'm disappointed. So that was the rim. So I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed, but uh, I feel so bad about such kind of jobs. The way how I would treat customer, should I charge customer? Of course, someone some time ago once explained about the issue of time that you charge the customer because you spend your time there. No matter, I didn't fix anything. So. But I feel bad. I don't know why. You know, I, I, I enjoy spending some money on something which I really fix the proper way. So let me plug back the battery. Battery plugged. Let's power on the laptop on. Can see the Lenovo sign. It has got Windows 7. So, yeah, sometimes it's important to do the basics first before you jump into conclusion of checking many things. This laptop is working fine. So. What I just do, I took out the RAM, I clean the RAM, and uh, I, will ref I refeed the RAM back into the socket, and the laptop is working fine. There's no password there. So, let me look for other proper jobs. 
see you on the next one bye